Good, happy Tuesday morning. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First up, authorities investigate home explosion in Salem. Let's take a listen to this video from WMR News 9, Gene Mackin. Discover the power of new Dove Men Plus Care elements with minerals and sage. Get a boost of freshness with new Dove Men Plus Care elements. A neighbor captured the moment immediately after the explosion at 20 Irving Street. The sound of popping. Firefighters say it could be ammunition or bottles. This was recorded by Glenn Grubbs. I was glad there was a house between it and me in case there were stray bullets. Salem police say they responded to a neighbor dispute around 6 p.m., a verbal fight over stacking firewood. They say no one was supposed to be living in the house. It was condemned in 2015. Officers approached but never spoke to the man seen here. They heard a hissing sound uh, followed by a strong odor of gas. The officers at that time backed out and uh, by the time they made it to the roadway, uh, there was an explosion which caused the portion of the roof to explode off as well as windows to break. About eight nearby homes were evacuated. We were eating dinner and then the, the cops pulled up aimed towards my house and then they had guns and they were pointing at a house and we're like what did we do it was just the smoke was coming up and i heard like ammo going off like firecrackers the explosion happened in greg sapachetti's backyard his house there's no water there's no electricity so they condemned it the town did and uh he wasn't allowed to live there anymore from what I, that's what i was told so i was told if i saw him in the house to call the police right away so uh, he hadn't been in it for a long, long time. And then just the other day, I, s I thought I saw the shades move. Firefighters say they won't confirm the man was inside the house until they search it tomorrow. It's our opinion that if someone was in that house, they had ceased. And at this hour, as you can see, what's left of the house is still smoking. Firefighters and police can't confirm that the man died in this explosion and fire here. And that's why SWAT was called in. They clearly believe that that was the case, though. As you can see, firefighters right now hitting that flare-up from a ladder truck, which they plan to do throughout the night to keep this under control. And they're, they say that they will continue to monitor the situation. Also, the state fire marshal will be arriving in the morning. That's when the house will be searched, when they hope to confirm if the man is inside. Also, Salem Fire tells us they'll be searching the property because, as the fire chief said, and this is a quote, we're not sure what he was into or what he was capable of. Live here in Salem, Gene Mackin, WMUR News 9. Okay, and there you go on that report. Family committed to funding care for ALS in father's memory. Let's take a listen to this video from WCBB Boston. I'm Dr. Aditi Narukar, Medical Director of the Cheng Sui Integrated Health Center at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. Learn stress management techniques this month at wcvb.com slash health. Everyone affiliated with this disease is so passionate about it because there's no treatment and there's no cure. To see how fast we've come in just 15 months, our first we raised $6.2 million. Joey and Jake Gosnell are part of a living legacy. Their father, Kevin Gosnell, died of ALS last August, but not before he launched ALS-1, a mission to find treatments and a cure. ALS-1 is a Boston-based partnership that brings together the best doctors, researchers, and care practitioners. It also includes a fundraising arm that fuels their efforts. Dr. Merit Sakovich says the ALS landscape is finally changing. 
There's more hope than ever for drugs that will slow down the spread of the disease. I'm really hopeful that this summer we'll have a new drug that's uh, that's under review at the FDA now called Erdarevone. So maybe we're talking a couple months for a new drug. For the drugs that um, ALS-1 is working on, I'm hoping in within a year we'll have some really good results from the, the a few of the drugs that are already in people. Now in its second year, ALS-1 has also made great strides in patient care. I knew Kevin, and I think he would be very proud of uh, what he has built. Um, it's a tough disease. It's a tough disease on the patient, on the family, and even on the clinicians. Kevin Gosnell always knew he wouldn't be there for the cure, but the team he assembled, along with wife Kathy and son Scott, Jake, and Joey, are committed to finding it in his memory. In every single thing that he did, he taught us something so valuable. And I always say, I'd rather have him for 18 years than a regular dad for 80 because he's that special. I'm Mary Salina, WCVB, New Center 5. Great kids. Great, great way to carry on their father's legacy. The ALS One organization holding a major fundraiser on Thursday. You can find more information on our WCVB mobile app. Okay, and there you go on that report. City passes resolution calling for Trump impeachment investigation. A Massachusetts city voted Monday to call for an impeachment investigation into President Donald Trump. The Cambridge City Council passed the impeachment resolution 7 to 1 with one member abstaining. The order calls on U.S. House to back a resolution directing the Traditional Committee to investigate whether there are grounds of impeachment. Trump Vice Mayor Mark McGovern and others believe Trump has violated the Emolutions Clause of the U.S. Constitution that prohibits government officials from profiting from foreign businesses. McGovern said he believes the Republican president is still deeply involved in his business operations. Cambridge now is the fifth city to pass an impeachment resolution. It is first major northeast city to do so. Google paid its self-driving car boss $120 million and then he left for Uber. Embedded engineer Anthony Lavat this guy collected $120 million from Google despite involvement with at least one startup that would ultimately complete with the company, according to new legal filings. Trump campaign advisor Carter Page targeted by Russian spies. Two years before joining the Trump campaign as a foreign policy advisor, New York business counsel Carter Page was targeted for recruitment as an intelligent source by Russian spies, promising favors for business opportunities in Russia, according to a sealed FBI complaint. Page confirmed to ABC News that he, he is the individual identified as male one in a 2015 court document submitted in a case involving the Russian spies. And that is it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Tuesday. See you back here later on today. Bye, everyone.